Hello friends, this is Marcy Everwarrell. Thank you so much for joining me for another cash stuffing savings challenge video. I appreciate you joining me. Welcome to those of you that are new and welcome back to those of you that have been here before. So tonight I am going to be stuffing um, a little over $200. We're actually going to do a quick cash count and get that exact amount. So we will actually start with that. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and fives. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, one, two. Oh, that one's broken. We are actually going to have ripped. We're going to have to tape that, but that is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so we have 206 tonight to stuff. Let's go ahead and set this up. Hopefully, everyone has had an amazing week. It is Thursday night here, and my goodness, you know, I love I love when things are a little busier because then I, it keeps me occupied and I'm less likely to go shopping online right um, but at the same time sometimes I just feel like I need some downtime um, all right so let's put this over here so we are going to start off tonight with our Yellowstone binder and for those of you that have not seen my Yellowstone binder um, it looks like this it has a cover page and then a, each set of envelopes um, that I hand created uh, well of course I, I made them on the pictures on the computer the graphic and then I handmade all of the envelopes themselves. So tonight the Yellowstone is going to actually get $24. So we're going to do a 20 and four ones. One, two, oops, three and four. All right, and we're actually going to fold this one. I find these fit better in this one than when they fold. All right. And that's actually going to give us a total of $35 um, because previously it already had $11. So let's scratch this off. And when I cash stuff again later this week, because I do need to go buy and get more cash, we will be starting on the February one. Um, for those of you that um, are watching the replay, of course, today is actually February 1st. Um, and so we'll start February. And these are really cute because I did the fours and the ones. All right. So that was all for the Yellowstone binder. We managed to go ahead and uh, fill, finish filling January. So next is on to my Tokyo spending. Um, these are some of my longer term funds, but they are things that I will need within, I'd say, the next year or so. Um, later on this year, I have to take a trip to Tokyo for work. Um, so for Tokyo spending, we are putting in $17, um, and that is three fives. One, two, three, and two ones. One and two. And that does give us a total of 17 for that one. So we're going to put that back in the envelope. And of course, that particular tracker I did make and laminate myself. Um, I thought it was super cute. All right. Um, and that is everything for this binder. Next up is birthdays. And we just have a few. So in this binder, Let's see. Uh, nope, actually, we don't need this one. We need the other birthday binder. So one of my birthday binders is all of my immediate family, and the other one is my um, extended family. So immediate family, Brooklyn is getting 10, and we will take hers out, and we are actually going to color in the 10, and we are going to update her little tracker, too. I don't think I did. Let's see. Okay, so we have 100 already in here. We're adding 10. So let's add that really quickly. All right, so today is 2-1. We are depositing $10. So now she has 110 in here. And her birthday is actually coming up. Her birthday um, is in March. So let's see. 25 25, 25, and 25. We'll go there. All right, and we're going to put that back in her envelope. Um, she is a twin, and so her twin birthday, her twin and her birthday 
is in March. Oops, hold on. We're having a little trouble here. Let me get it. There we go. Um, and so the goal was to make sure that we had enough saved up, of course, for each child for their gifts and then, of course, for the cake. So, all right. So then London, her twin, is also getting 10. And she, too, should have 100 in here. So let's see. Here's our 10. Our 25. 25. 25 and 25 all right and the goal is that they would each get 125 and then of course the cake is like $30 so we'll just do a quick check yep there's 100 in here and we are just simply adding 10 okay and let's fill in her little tracker as well all right because they have birthdays at the beginning of the year um, I didn't have to um, I didn't have a lot of savings already saved up for them, so I just put money in there. I think last paycheck, I believe it was, um, or maybe the one before that. Um, and then I'll finish it out, before, obviously, before their birthday, so they'll be good to go. All right, and then the last birthday is my daughter Ireland. Her birthday is actually in April, um, so she's, like, right behind them. Okay, so she has 10. We did have her tracker. Um, we need to add it here. As a deposit of 10 and we start it with 10 and then today she is getting another 10 so that gives her 20 oh you know what I did that backwards um hmm let's see oh let's see okay so we'll leave it to one even though it was the other day it's okay it'll be fine all right we're adding another 10 and that gives her 20 there we go all right and let's put this and there's just an extra tracker in here. Um, when I first created the trackers, I wasn't sure which design I wanted to go with for each child. And so I ended up going with the mermaid with her. She loves the water. Um, and so that's why we're coloring on that one. So she now has a total of 20. And since her birthday's not till April, we've got a little bit longer for her. All right, so that's it for the birthdays. Next is my Everyday Essentials binder. And it is the one that it's centered around food. And I know that sounds funny, but one of my binders, Everyday Essentials, is all about different types of food and like basic shopping. And then the other one um, is like pets and new clothes and that kind of stuff. So in this one, we are starting off with an ice cream. Um, ice cream trip, I am adding $2. So we are coloring in this one. Okay. There's my two. All right, and we're just gonna do a quick count real quick um, to make sure I'm on track. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, and nine, 10 and 11. So now this one has 11. There we go. All right, and I colored that in. My kids love ice cream, so we go out to ice cream often. All right, next one is date night. And date night, I usually do increments of 10, but this time around, I'm actually gonna add 20. So we're gonna color in two stars, because on here, each star is worth 10. Um, this, of course, is one that I made myself. It is in my Etsy shop, um, if you haven't seen it. Um, and so we have date night. So we already had 30. Now we're adding 20 more, so that now gives us 50. And um, Valentine's Day is coming up, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to use this towards Valentine's Day. And we've actually, believe it or not, decided not to go, well, originally we had decided not to go out, and my husband was going to cook. Um, he was going to grill for me, but we are actually in the process of moving. Um, and so we are actually moving roughly that week. And so he, everything will already be packed up. So instead of him cooking, we're going to wait till um, we go to move and we're going to go out to eat once we get there. So that'll work better. All right. So then takeout is my next one. And that one is getting four. And that's for like takeout Chinese um, or Japanese or Thai. All right. So that has four. Okay. And it currently has $8. Eight dollars, and then we're gonna add four more and four. All right. All right. So now we have twelve in this one. I 
and usually for us takeout is about $36 for our size family so um, we're about halfway there all right um, and the last one in this binder is Amazon. I actually purchased a couple things yesterday and put them on my Amazon card. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take this money and take it back to the bank when I go again to pay the balance on the card. Um, that's kind of how I do that since we're paying in cash. All right, so that 20 is in there. All right, and I'll put a probably put a budget, a budget sheet in there later. Um, the purchase I made was right at 20, so really there won't be much left over, but I will put a budget sheet when I go to take that out. All right, so that's Amazon. And that's everything in this binder. My next one is my Everyday Essentials non-food items. And in this one, we're going to start off with pet emergencies. And pets are just getting eight today. Color this in. There is my eight. And let's make sure. Yep, we've got four already. I'm sorry, 24. So we're going to add in eight. Okay, so that gives us 32. Yep, 32. Okay, and hopefully there are no um, pet emergencies in the near future. We actually um, took the cats to the vet back in October and November and to have some things done to prep for the move. So they shouldn't need anything else, but just in case. All right, the next one is new clothes for me. And new clothes is just getting $4. And I actually need to color these in because I have not colored this one in. All right, so let's see. We already have nine. And these are $2 each. So we're going to color one, two, three, and four. Okay. And then today it's getting $4. One, two, three, and four. So we can color in two. Two more and we'll wait till we add and I'll add in an odd number next time so that I can color in another circle okay plus four now gives us 13 all right so two four six eight ten twelve yep I just want to double check all right so that is my clothing okay all right and then the last Nope, two more, a couple more in this binder. Okay, the next one is the 25 weeks of savings, and the goal is not to take any money out, so I don't have um, a budget tracker in this one. So today we're putting in $6. Okay. All right, so now we have 26. I may decide to put a budget tracker in it later, but like I said, the goal is to not take anything out. So I just wanna keep saving till that's all the way full. All right, the next one is the Winter Vibes Challenge. And this one is going to get five. Same concept, I'm not planning to take anything out. All right, so this one now has 10. All right, and that one goes back in there. All right, and the last one in this binder is self-care. And self-care, I actually had not put anything in this one yet. I was actually surprised I hadn't got around to it. Now, this again is another one that I've made in my Etsy shop. Um, so that is available there for purchase. All right, and this one is getting $6. There we go. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this just yet. Um, I'm not really a frilly girly girl, so I don't, you know, get my nails done or really go get my hair done or anything. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but I figured if there's a time frame that I just like need something, like I just need a new shirt or need a, a cup of coffee, you know, something just to, to get myself together, I'll have that money in here for it. So the goal is to save $50, so I'm not really sure yet, like I said, what I'm going to do with it. All right, so that's it for this binder. So the next binder is the children's binder and the children's binder um we're gonna start off with the kids clothing all right so my kiddos like i said we're moving and so they're going to new schools um so i just went and bought them a bunch of new school clothing so we went through that um i think there was like 300 dollars in here um and i didn't even have a chance to write it down i because i went shopping as like as soon as i put it in here um so let me put on here really quickly gonna put this this was the deposit and it was 280 so it was 280 and then I went shopping I think it was on like the 24th um, whoops shopping okay 
Okay. And I literally spent the whole two, oops, this should be zero. I spent the whole 280 between like two stores and that was really good for four kids, right? So then today I am depositing another 20 <laughs> to start that back over. So we're back at 20 and that is quite all right. All right, so, oops, let's start up here real quick. Okay, didn't put that. All right, so that is back to school clothes. So they're back to 20. And the goal is um, to have this mostly for back to school in the fall, but like I said, in our case, we're moving, so I wanted to make sure they had some new stuff to be able to wear and just kind of circulate into their wardrobe um, for that. Okay, in here also, um, $7 is going towards the aquarium. Um, where we're moving to has a gorgeous aquarium, one of the largest in the world. Um, so we are going to add that. So another seven. So now we have 14. Okay. For a total of 14. Oops. Okay. Um, this is another cute tracker I made. This one's not for sale, but it was one that I made. Um, in fact, mo you'll find most of the trackers that I have, I made. All right, and then the last one in the kids binder is the dollar savings with one of my favorites from Hello Kitty. So we are putting $4 in here. And this dollar savings for them really is just like extra money in case one of them needs something um, or they all need something or there's like a surprise or something because I have like, you know, like a surprise expense. I have field trips in here, field trip, family night. I have school clothes, school supplies, you know, a bunch of different stuff, but I thought just in case we ever need extra money for them, this is it, right? So it'll get, it'll get up to $60 once it's full. All right. And that is everything for the kids binder. All right. So then the next one up is my Halloween binder. And I don't know that I've showed this one before. So this is my Halloween binder. Of course, I made all of the pages and envelopes myself. Um, I love Care Bears and, you know, I'm, I'm a 70s, 80s girl or baby, whatever you call it. So here um, I made this. Of course, the goal once I complete the binder is $304 for Halloween. And while that may seem like a lot, each um, envelope serves a purpose. So in here, I've got one for costumes. You know, again, four kids, $96 for costumes. Um, and that's about what we spent the last couple Halloween. Um, the next one is pizza dinner, so I don't have to cook that night. So that will be 48 bucks um, to be able to order pizza. The next one is treats for my own kids. So think like cupcakes, cookies, anything that is like a seasonal item, um, $32 so they can each get some treats. The next one is candy. Now this is candy that I actually give out to the trick-or-treaters. Um, I wanna say each year I've spent about $25 in candy. Um, and with an inflation, you know, you never know. So I, I put 32 just to make sure I had enough. And then last but not least is decor so that I can buy like new Halloween decorations if I want, okay? So in Halloween, the pizza dinner is getting $3. So we're gonna color in a square. Oops, my Sharpie stayed un, um, without the cap too long. Okay, so this is getting three. Oops, and we're gonna actually put three on here. This is the first time I've added money to this one. So we're gonna put pizza, dinner, and we're starting off with three. Now I do know some people do not use these little budget trackers. I like them because it makes it feel very much like the bank. Like, you know, I have to hold myself accountable for the money that goes in and out. Um, um, and obviously, as you can see, a couple times I've not had a chance to fill it out or, you know, I got busy or whatever, but the goal, um, we may have to fold this one. The goal is to, in fact, hold myself accountable and keep track of it. All right. The one thing about these, when I made them, I went with measurements that someone else had online in hopes that they would fit. And I have found that they don't quite hold the money the way I want them to. So in the future, when I do make my own, which I love making my own, I will make these just a tad bit bigger. All right. So that was three in Halloween dinner. The next one is two in kids treats. All right. And again, this is the first time I've added money to this one. And with these, because, you know, Halloween is kind of far off. I mean, it's February, right? So we've got plenty of time, plenty of time to fill these. Um, so I'm not worried about the fact that some of them didn't have anything yet. It's totally okay. 
All right. Okay, that is two for treats. All right, and then the last one in this category is candy, and we're going to put two for candy. Go ahead and get started with that one. Okay, so two, two. I have found um, over the years, the years that I did not cash stuff, right? You know, my money wasn't as um, purposeful and intentional. I wasn't as intentional with my money, right? But I have found now that I've gone back to cash stuffing in these last couple of years, this really truly holds me more accountable and I'm able to plan out better the things that I want. So it doesn't feel like there's a bunch of unplanned expenses that pop up. All right, so this is everything for the Halloween binder. Next is my holiday binder. And the holidays, um, nope, that's month ahead. Sorry. I do have like two binders that, um, no, it's this one. Sorry. It is the clear one. All right. So holiday binder, like I said, happy Valentine's day is not getting anything. Believe it or not. I'm sad. I don't have anything to put in there, but that's okay. Cause I'll start saving for next year. Um, because like I said, we're going to go out and you know, because it's coming up soon, we're just going to uh, pay cash when we get there. It's fine. All right. So in here, the only thing I'm doing in holidays is $2 for Easter baskets, okay? So that is my last two ones. So Easter baskets, and I typically make my kids Easter baskets. Um, I It just depends on whether or not the local store where we're going has some, dictates whether or not I'm just gonna buy some pre-made ones, but I usually make them. So Easter baskets, um, we'll get two bucks and that's it for that one. And I won't pull anything out till right when I either make them or get ready to buy them, so I don't have a tracker in that one. All right, and the last binder is this one and this one is just like it's almost like monthly random savings and scratch offs is in this one so we have a lot of really great scratch offs um which i love i can't wait to use some of these later this week because like i said this is my first cash stuffing this week i will have a second one when i'm able to go to the bank again so this one um we're slightly behind this is the january card and it is going to get my last 20 tonight all right so let me color these in real quick these are worth a dollar a piece and we're going to color in 20 really fast All right, there is my 20, I believe. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep, so 20 is going in this one. And that is January. I will finish it out this week um, when I go to fill again, and then we'll start on February. All right, so that goes there. Uh, that is the last of the ones that I'm going to stuff tonight. So again, um, when I pop on later in this week, I will do, like I said, some of the scratch offs. Um, I definitely need to fill several of my envelopes in my Disney binder and also some more birthdays and Christmas, which are some of my favorites to work with. Okay. All right. So again, I hope that you enjoyed watching me cash stuff. Um, I hope that this was motivational for you as it is definitely for me. Um, and if you have any questions at all about how I make any of the binders, um, we'll make any of the inserts, the dashboards, any of the trackers, do feel free to, to message me. I have not forgotten about making the video about showing how to use the lamination. Um, that is still on the agenda and now it's of course Friday so I'm looking at doing that this weekend. Um, probably uh, that'll be one video and then the other will be the cash stuffing for the remainder of um, this pay period. So uh, again, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.